Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you so much to, uh, for joining us on today's webinar. My name is Danielle Haney, and I am the Trade Relations Specialist here at CLIA. Today, we have such a great presentation. We are going to learn all of the new developments that are on the horizon for Alma Waterways. Before I introduce our presenter, I'd like to take a moment for some housekeeping items. Uh, the webinar will run for about 45 minutes. We will leave about 10 minutes at the end for questions. If you do have any questions, please feel free to type them in the questions module on the GoToWebinar platform, and we will make sure to answer those at the end. Also, we are recording this webinar. We will be uploading it to our CLIA YouTube channel. Momentarily, I will uh, paste the URL into the chat box, uh, and feel free to follow us and take advantage of all of the webinars we have for you. Now, I'd like to introduce our presenter. Today, we are joined by Christine Karth, Executive Vice President and Co-Owner of AMA Waterways. A native of Dresden, Germany, Christine Karth has a degree in the Economics of Tourism and Business Management, as well as a Master of Business Administration from the University of Dresden. After working at American Express for eight years, Karth moved to the United States and entered the River Cruise segment. Three years later, she left at the office opportunity to team up with Rudy Schreiner and Jimmy Murphy, co-founding Alma Waterways. Karth's extensive knowledge of Europe's culture and traditions, as well as providing top-notch customer service, enabled her to effectively shape the products and services of the company and communicate all of the benefits of river cruising with travel agents, group leaders, and diverse educational and business organizations. So without further ado, welcome to today's webinar. Christine, thank you so much for your time and presenting to our members today. Thank you so much, Danielle. I'm so excited for this webinar today. Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are in which part of the United States or even in Canada. So you have just heard um, my accent is actually not Californian. That's where our headquarter is. I was born in Germany, lived in Switzerland for quite some time before I moved to the United States about 20 years ago now. And we founded AMA Waterways. 2002, so that is now 16 years. So um, I'm very, very excited to talk about our newest ship, the AMA Magna, today coming in May 2019. That's a completely new dimension in river cruising. And I hope that many of you know our product already, have maybe sailed with us on our smaller ships already. So, um, because the first thing what you need to do is to fall in love with river cruising. And that's usually happening once you are coming on board our ships, no matter if it's in Europe, on the Mekong, or in Asia. And then, of course, you know all the beautiful um, setup of a river cruise, the concept, how we double the leisure time for you and your guests, how much value is in a river cruise. And this is really the most comfortable and luxurious way to see all the beautiful sights of Europe and, of course, the other continents. Now, what makes AMA Waterways still stand out and so special is that we are family-owned and operated. You see here on the picture, Rudy Schreiner on the left side, our president, also my husband. On the right side, Gary Murphy, our son of Jimmy Murphy, of the late Jimmy Murphy, and our VP of Sales. Um, we are one team here, short communication lines. We can make instant decisions. And um, whenever you meet us at trade shows or so, and you look at our business cards, our cell phone numbers on our cards. So you can always reach out to us with anything that we can answer you straight and directly. And uh, I think that's very, very important in our business to accomplish as much as possible in this short time. So what makes AMA Waterways uh, especially special, I have to say, um, we do have the highest ship rated ships in Europe. We are very proud of all the Berlitz Awards that we got. Um, it, it started actually a couple of years ago that Berlitz, who had always rated all the ocean ships, now started to rate uh, the river cruise ships. And out of more than 360 river cruise ships, AMA Waterways ships take the 10 top spots, and we are very, very proud of this. Um, it's not just about the spacious staterooms and the public areas. 
it's also about the passion that every crew member, every member of our Amawadari family here in California, but also around the world, is reflecting. It's the innovation we are looking for all the time, the craftsmanship. Rudy is an architect um, by one of his degrees, and it's really the closeness to everything what's happening, no matter if it's on the ship or here in our office. Um, so we, we try to combine all the parts in the world uh, to one part here. So uh, it's not just to meet guest expectations. It's about exceeding expectations. It's about pampering our guests, your clients. It's about creating this wow that really brings the guests back to you and to us. And hopefully we have enough river cruises um, that we can always meet the next expectations. Um, it's the finest cuisine with fresh and local ingredients hand-selected local vines, an active approach, hiking, biking. Um, in the past about 20 years, river cruising, you know, was quite passive. The clients would go on a motor coach, they all would do one tour, but that has all changed by our active approach. By having now 25 bikes on board each ship, we started this from the beginning of our company, by including hiking tours, by including more choices. Every day, you can choose between three or four different shore excursions, depending on your interest. Uh, everyone who comes on board today would like to live healthy. Yes, we all want to indulge. That's part of a vacation, and we want to eat well, but we also want to move because our bodies um, need this, and we want to live longer. And um, so, this is what we constantly try to do to reinvent the product, to meet the expectations, to exceed them. But most of all, we value our travel partners. That's you, our travel agents. You are our extended marketing arm, our sales force. We want to be close to you and we listen to you. So always let us know what you feel we can do better for you and your clients. So again, it's about the hardware and the software. But the software, which is really our people, that's the most important we feel. Because you can be on the most beautiful ship, but if the crew does not anticipate your needs and is pampering you, your cruise experience will be just mediocre. It will not create this well. That's why we take our time to really train all the crew members extensively to give you the most personal service that you can, that you have ever experienced. And this is how so many of your clients come to us. Maybe they have done deluxe ocean cruising. Maybe they have done touring. Maybe they have done just individual uh, travel before. But once they come on the cruise, everyone is just blown away by what's happening on board and this wonderful service that they experience and that makes them really repeating customers, which is great for you and wonderful for us. Our cruise managers are there for your guests 24-7. They are visible, you see them all the time, they are around yourself, and even when you step on board and the captain is greeting you, he, the captain, will by himself most likely carry your suitcase to the cabin together with the other sailors but that's how close you really come with our onboard crew. Now, 80% of the river cruise traffic is happening in Europe. And that's, of course, the Danube River as the river where our clients, your clients, start usually first, or the Rhine River, or also the rivers in France. We have three rivers there where we are cruising, and that's the Rhone, that's the Seine, and that's also... Um, the Garonne de Gironde in Bordeaux, where three rivers are coming together. Um, we are also cruising in Portugal, and the Douro River has become extremely attractive for many of your clients in the past few years. That is driving us now to build our second ship, which will start in April 2019. And then, of course, we also have the Lower Danube. Maybe something new for many of you, because you certainly know the Upper Danube 
cruising from Nuremberg over Sofen Passau in Germany to Austria, Slovakia, into Budapest. But the lower Danube becomes more and more of interest for your clients exploring southern Hungary, Croatia, Serbia, Romania, and parts of Bulgaria. And obviously, what we don't have on the big map, but on the small map here, is the Choba River in Africa, a side river of the Zambezi. And this is about one and a half hours away from Victoria Falls, where Botswana, Namibia, Zambia, and Zimbabwe, those four countries are coming together. And then we have the Mekong River. In fact, I just came back last night from the Mekong flowing through Vietnam and Cambodia, one of the most authentic and spiritual experiences that you and your clients can ever have. And again, it's all about the people, the life of the people there, about the fascinating culture and the tremendous river flowing there. So what's new in 2019? Ama Waterways is building three ships. Um, the first one starting in early April, the Amadoro, sailing on the Doro River, in addition now to our Amaveda, with 51 staterooms, 102 guests only. So that's a smaller ship, very personal, very in intimate. And you see here Porto, which is under UNESCO World Heritage, this beautiful city in Portugal, where our ship is docked across from the old town with the view to the old town, but on the side where we are docked are all the beautiful port wineries, which we will explore together. But you can, of course, also walk there and just have some additional tastings on your own. Uh, in addition, uh, we will receive the Amamora, sister ship to our Ama Lea, Ama Christina, Ama Viola, and Ama Stella, coming in June, early June 2019, sailing the Rhine River between Amsterdam and Basel with 78 staterooms, a ship that is built for 156 guests. But the most revolutionary product is the Ama Magna. And this new ship will start on May 5, that's the maiden voyage, on the Danube River with 98 staterooms and 196 guests. So that's just a little bit more than the Amamora, about 18% more guests. However, the ship has the double width. So that means double space, much larger cabins than any river cruise ship that you have experienced can even give you. So the average cabin size will be 355 square feet large. The smallest staterooms start with 205 square feet. Now that's today the size of many suites on many river cruise ships. And this will be our entry level cabin on the Ama Magna. And of course the owner suite will have a size of 710 square feet. And then we have a couple of uh, suites on board as well. And uh, those suites, six altogether, will be 474 square feet large and all with a full balcony. Now, what is driving us to build such a ship that with this dimension, with the double width, can only cruise the Danube River? Now, first of all, the Danube River has so much demand. We have five ships on this river, and all of these ships are usually selling out. And what's selling out first, we are selling from the top down to the bottom, are the suites. On the current ships, we have four suites, and it's very hard to get these suites when you're not booking long in advance, these suites are taken. That means your clients, they want space. They want the luxury of more. They do have the income to really take these suites and enjoy everything around. That means we need more of these suites to fulfill the expectations of your guests, of your clients. So that has driven us to build this ship. There are still enough ocean cruisers that have never come to river cruising because they felt 
state rooms are just not large enough. There are not enough public areas. There are not enough restaurants and bars on board. So not enough variety. So now we have many, many more restaurants on board. We will have five bars, enough choices, enough public rooms where not everyone has to be in the lounge in the evening. So enough choices. And hopefully you have these clients and they have done so many, river, uh, so many ocean cruises and now they will come and express their interest to also come on a river cruise and start there with the AMA Magna. So Rudy, our president, president is always saying the AMA Magna is not necessarily a game changer. It is an addition to the game. It's offering the same impeccable internet service for all the guests, yet we even have more space and more choices for the luxury cruise market. So here you see the Ama Magna actually, it's currently being built. The ship currently is in Ghent. Ghent is our shipyard in um, Holland, in the Netherlands. And about in December, the ship is being completed and will be transferred back uh, around the Atlantic, going through the Black Sea um, on an ocean uh, freighter, actually on a container ship. And then it will go through the Black Sea to the lower Danube and go all the way up to Budapest and Belsofen, where it will start with the maiden voyage on May 5, 2019. So here is a peek into one of the state rooms, 355 square feet large, very spacious, same with the bathrooms, four balconies, big sitting area in addition to a large oversized bed, multi-jet showers and double sinks in the bathrooms, general closet space, storage space, and flat screen television and a Mac computer with our entertainment on demand center. Some of these state rooms also feature triple or quad occupancy and connecting doors. That means we can accommodate your families multi-generational families, they are on the rise. And not just since Adventures by Disney has partnered with us three years ago, but families, I just had it on the Mekong River again, four families with two four-year-old children and actually teenagers, nine and 11 and 15 and 16 years, together with the parents and one family came, 11 guests, with the grandparents as well, sharing all these wonderful experiences. And it was absolutely fantastic for the children, for the parents, for the grandparents. Nobody had to go shopping, prepare the meals, clean the dishes. Everyone was together, yet they were able to participate in different shore excursions, come back together again, talking about their experiences during the meal times. And I think that's all about. So we do accommodate uh, children starting from age four, um, but we recommend children starting from age six. It's absolutely fine to have them on board. Now in our six grand suites on board the Ama Magna and the owner suite, we feature beds facing the river. Um, and also in some of these cabins, a sofa bed for triple, and quad occupancy, as I just mentioned. Alternative dining venues. So we feature our main dining room, the chef's table restaurant, similar to our other ships, but in addition, an alfresco dining and Jimmy's wine bar and restaurant, actually called after the late Jimmy Murphy. So on the top deck, this is an artist rendering because it's not really finalized yet, but we will have an oversized heated sun deck pool with an inset wall pool. There will be a poolside pop-up bar, and this pop-up bar will actually be lowered down in case the water level is high and we have to cross all the bridges. We will have a pop-up lift, the same, it will be lowered down in case it comes to 
narrow bridges. There will be a walking track in case, um, you know, people want to walk it. Again, it's all about um, enjoying a healthy life and comfortable lounge seating with enough of space being in um, the shade. Now, the very new thing on the Ama Magna and on any river cruise ship will be our water sports platform. So you see here our Sun Downer. That's a very small ship suited for up to 13, maybe 14 guests. And this way you can even explore the Danube much more close up. You can take the small sundowner boat to the banks of the Danube, uh, enjoy the sunset there, maybe have a bottle of champagne there. It's on a first come, first, first serve basis, um, but it's free of charge. It's all included in the cruise fare. Based on the size of the ship, we also feature an expansive Zen Wellness Studio. So we still have our fitness center with all the fitness equipment, but we also have our dedicated space for small group classes. And this can be morning stretching, core, yoga, TheraBand resistance band classes, could be Pilates, could be Zumba classes, dependent on um, the priorities that the wellness host has. And as you know, in 2019, we are rolling out our dedicated wellness program on all our ships across Europe, just not on our small Sambesi Queen in Africa. Um, but we also plan to roll out this program on the Amadara on the Mekong River. Now, part of our expanded wellness area will be also a wellness bar with some very healthy juices, uh, detox water, uh, because everyone today, again, wants to be more healthy. Uh, it's very important that we are not just working out, but we also focus on um, nutrition uh, in the dining room, but also in the different bars. There will be two massage rooms on this ship because um, the massages are very popular on our existing ships and they are always booked, so we figured two massage rooms will fit the needs of our guests in a much better way. And for the first time, we will also offer manicure and pedicure service. And of course, our hair salon will be on board the Ama Magna as well. So our different restaurants are not just fantastic for a variety of dining choices, but if you do groups, now we have extended group space available for your special cocktail parties, maybe for some lectures that you would like to do in your private environment. So you can use Jimmy's Wine Bar Restaurant that sits up to 65 guests or we can accommodate you in our exclusive wine table restaurants. There are three tables for up to 12 guests, or we can give you the entire space that sits up to 36 guests if you have a larger group. And then we have our chef's table restaurant separately, where we can also sit up to 36 guests. So that's our fine dine venue where we serve you our special multi-course dinner. So I mentioned that the Amma Magna um, is sailing exclusively on the Danube River, the upper Danube in 2019, but we will also include some lower Danube cruises on this ship in 2020, because the locks on the Danube allow for this ship to cruise through. The locks have the double width from all the other locks on the Rhine or on the French rivers or even in Portugal. So the Danube cruise is a seven night cruise where we also feature a pre or post Prague land program. Prague, the capital of the Czech Republic. So Prague is not connected to the Danube river. Prague is situated on the Vltava or Moldau river about four hours driving time to the Danube River. So let's say we have our program starting with the cruise in Wilshofen and ending in Budapest. In this case, Prague would be a pre-land program. Three nights that we get started, 
with uh, a beautiful city tour. We also offer um, a special dinner, a folklore dinner, uh, as part of our program. And then from Prague, we will continue on and go to Wilshofen, where we embark our ship. Wilshofen is in Bavaria. And this is also the place where we feature our Munich miniature Oktoberfest. So I don't know how many of you have been to the big Oktoberfest in Munich, which is always held the last Sunday in September going into October. But there you are together with thousands, almost a million of people. And we feel that being in the small city of Wolfhofen, being together just there with the locals gives you a much, much better, more intimate experience. So we have a beer queen there for you. We have pretzels. We have the local beer. A local band is coming to play some umpa music. And then after an hour about, we have our welcome reception on board and followed by the welcome dinner. And then you settle in and enjoy your seven night cruise to Budapest. From Belsofen the next day, we go to Passau. And Passau is a very special city in Germany because it is located on three rivers. The Danube River, that's where we are docked. Across from it is the Inn River, and we also have the Ilse River flowing into the Danube. So um, we have a bike tour, actually, where we can explore both the Danube area and the Inn area, going around this island, along the banks of the Danube, going through town. We also have an active hiking tour there and the regular city tour. So once you have explored Passau, which is really, everything is walking here, beautiful small city. From there, we continue on, cross the border into Austria and dock in Linz. Linz is another beautiful city. From there, we have the morning walking tour. And then you have the choices for either a shorter tour to Salzburg in the afternoon, or you skip Linz in the morning, the walking tour, and we feature a full day tour going to Salzburg. Or if you have been to Salzburg and you want to explore Czeski Krumlov in the Czech Republic, we take you there or otherwise also to the Austrian Lake District, especially in summer, a most wonderful shore excursion. There you also see Monse, where the Trapp family uh, performed the Sound of Music, and so many more sites. So this is Czeski Kromlov, which when actually the Czech Republic um, was, uh, so Slovakia and the Czech Republic formed just one country, was actually a city famous for the coal mines. Uh, nothing special there, but after everything uh, became, um, you know, a new world there in the former eastern part uh, of Europe, uh, this city was completely refurbished. Many, many boutique shopping areas there, wonderful restaurants. So for many, many of our guests, is such a surprise when they opt for this tour and uh, see uh, all these beautiful sites. Uh, they go to the castle district, um, the river flows around. So it's like a really, really small fairy tale city. Um, from Linz, we continue cruising into the Wachau Valley in Austria. So the Wachau Valley is also a most beautiful vine area where we will visit Melk and Dürnstein and Krems and also some beautiful vineries from the past centuries. So there you get to taste the wines. You will also explore the biggest abbey in Europe, the Melk Benedictine Abbey. And from there, we continue cruising to Vienna, the capital of Austria, where we again offer different bike tours, where we offer also some culinary tours, the Hidden Vienna tour, and of course for our guests who have never been to Vienna before, then I will always recommend the city tour by bus, where you see the most beautiful sights in this magical uh, capital of Austria. 
from Austria, we continue into Slovakia, and we will visit Bratislava, the capital of Slovakia, again with different choices of tours, the regular city tour, or you can join our active hiking tour to the castle and still have about an hour to explore um, the city center. Or you can also join us for the culinary tour, which happens to be a beer tasting in this part of Europe. And then, of course, we continue cruising into Hungary. Uh, we cruise along the Danube Bend until we arrive in Budapest, the capital of Hungary. And there again, we have different tours, our active hiking and biking tours, our regular city tour. Um, and then everyone gets to enjoy our evening illumination course on the Danube River where we pass by the beautiful parliament and of course also um, the castle district with the Matthias Church, the bridges, everything enlightened during the, the evening. Wonderful, absolutely spectacular. Now we are cruising the Danube at pretty much every time of the year between March and New Year's. And uh, there is also uh, for many of our guests a big highlight exploring the Christmas markets in late November or the whole month of December. So we have Christmas market courses on the Danube on board the Amma Magna either on December 1st or December 15th from Wilson to Budapest or November 24, December 8, or December 22 from Budapest to Wilsofen. But who wants to explore uh, or have a combination between actually the Christmas markets and a special wine cruise, then I can recommend to consider our Wilsofen to Budapest wine cruise because the Christmas markets in Austria and Budapest are opening already in the middle of December. So if you pick for your guests the November 10 wine cruise on the Amma Magna, on this departure, some of the Christmas markets will also be open. And then you can both enjoy all the wonderful wines and also tour some romantic Christmas markets as well. So what is also so special now in the Yama Magna for our guests who like to golf, especially the ones who want to experience a four or five country golfing, come on board the Yama Magna. So if you start in Prague, we can of course uh, do a round of golf in Prague with you. But even if you just want to golf along the cruise, then it's four country golfing starting in Bad Griesbach, about half an hour away from Wilshofen in Germany. Also golfing in Austria, golfing in Slovakia, and in the Czech Republic. Those are all very, very famous golf courses that we will experience there. Um, There's the Diamond Course in um, Atzenburg in Austria. Uh, the Albatross Golf Course, host of the Czech Open in Prague. Uh, the Beckenbauer course, host of the Porsche European Open in Bad Griesbach, Germany. The Penalty Country Club uh, Legends course in Slovakia, host of the Slovakian Open. And the Pannonia Country Club, host of the Hungarian Seniors Open in Budapest in Hungary. So this whole concierge golf program features um, a private luxury Mercedes transportation to and from the, the ship to the golf courses and back to the ship, an a la carte lunch at each course with beer and wine included, one round per golfer at each golf course, one shared golf cart per round, one rich token per round, one welcome packet with um, uh, one uh, golf ball per golfer, one pitch repair tool, four or five course guides, and a leather shoe bag, and a club cleaning after each round. So uh, for your experienced golfers, that's a wonderful program. And if the spouse doesn't want to golf, then they just join our regular 
shore excursions, and of course, they are all included in our cruise fare. Just the golf package is an additional charge. New is also our VOW renewal package, exclusively again for the Ama Magna. So while it's not legal that the captain can actually um, uh, perform the ceremony on a river cruise ship, captains can only do it on the open water, on the ocean, not on the river. Um, but the captain can definitely perform a symbolic uh, wedding or renewal of the vows. And we offer a package that includes a bottle of champagne, a romantic torn down service with the rose petals, a custom made dessert by our onboard chef, a certificate for two one hour massages, and one manicure and pedicure or hair salon, and the private boat, our sundowner just for the couple or of course also um, the group members in case the couple brings families or friends along with champagne and then of course the certificate. So this all is uh, coming for $495 but if you bring a, a group of at least 10 guests along with this couple then it's all included in the cruise fare. So who is now the Ama Magna guest? Well, I mentioned already the ocean cruises. All your clients that have never considered a river cruise because of not enough space or not enough options on board a river cruise ship, I think now they can come on board and they'll be absolutely surprised how luxurious everything is. For the active travelers who would like to bike or hike while doing a river cruise, for the culinary lovers, because we offer so many different choices and fine dining, five-star culinary options on board. For all the wine lovers who would like to join one of our wine courses and experience the different European wines, as well as, as, well as wines from maybe Napa or Sonoma Valley, if the wine host is from there, or maybe Canadian wines, or the region that our wine host is from because he or she also brings their local wines on board. And then we will compare the European wines with either the North American or the Canadian or maybe even South African wines is if the wine host is from South Africa. Um, the multi-generational groups, I mentioned the families already, repeat river cruisers who would like to explore a new type of ship, corporate incentives, or even groups of all kinds. This could be affinity groups, groups with a special theme, maybe garden clubs, religious groups, family groups, sports groups, golfers. I'm sure you are out in your local community. Probably you are part of a special organization, uh, maybe a Rotary club, maybe a Lions Club, maybe um, you do some handicrafts and want to bring some knitters on board, or maybe some chocolate lovers or beer lovers. We have all done it. Uh, we have musical groups on board, and you just look what's around you, and then, of course, talk about it, and then create this special interest. Um, it might take some time, but I can guarantee you today, river cruising is on the bucket list of so many clients. It's much easier to sell a river cruise today than it was 10 or 15 years ago because uh, everyone would love to do it at one point. You just have to entice your clients. And if you want to know more about the Ama Magna and follow the process while the ship is being built, um, sign up, become an Ama Magna insider. Just go to our website, amawaterways.com, slash Amamagna, and once you sign up, we keep you updated with all the new happenings. So now what else is new in 2019? Now this is not, of course, something that we offer on Amamagna. This is what we offer now on, um, in conjunction with our uh, African Safari and Wildlife Cruise. Um, this cruise is only four nights long on our Sambesi Queen, 28 guests 
on board, but nobody will go and take the long flight to Africa just for a four-night cruise. So currently, we feature uh, packages around with Rovers Rail, with uh, Tanzania, uh, with, of course, Victoria Falls, Cape Town, the Chinswalo Lodge in Kruger National Park. But uh, starting now in 2019, we will also add a program to Rwanda where we uh, feature gorilla trekking in um, the mountains of Rwanda. Rudy and I went there in March last year to celebrate actually his very special birthday and we just fell in love with the destination. Um, it's, uh, there are only eight tribes of gorillas, eight families, and each uh, group is limited to about eight guests only. So then, of course, you are grouped depending on your activity level, and then you go on a hike through the bamboo forest into the mountain, and depending on your activity level, the, the hikes um, last about two, three, four, or sometimes even five or six hours. But then once you see the gorillas, families, sometimes you see 10, 15, sometimes 25 gorillas playing with each other, that is actually the most emotional and wonderful experience that I had in my life. So look into our 2019 and 20 Africa brochure and offer this special trip to your most active and most luxurious clients. Clients that have seen the entire world, just this is left on their bucket list. And uh, call us if we can tell you all about this program. So now we go back to our European ships. New 2018 was our sip and sail hour. So that's our complimentary cocktail hour prior to dinner. This has proven to be so successful because clients have figured out they don't need all-inclusive on a river cruise because most of the time you are out for your morning show excursions, you come back to your ship, have lunch. We include, of course, free unlimited finest wines or beers or soft drinks with lunch and dinner. After your lunch, you maybe take a nap, you rest, or you're on the sun deck, um, seeing uh, the beautiful area, the vineyards passing by, the castles passing by, and then the ship docks in the next city or next destination. We take you out for your next tour excursion, all included. You come back, you probably shower and change, and that's when the time prior to dinner when you all come to the lounge enjoying your complimentary wine or cocktails before you go to the dining room or rooms on the Amma Magna and then of course again unlimited finest wines, beers and soft drinks are included for dinner. We have many many past guests now uh, and to really cater even more to them we have created our past guest e-magazine it's called Beyond the River Banks. It features destinations, it features past guest stories, insider information, travel tips, recipes, exclusive past guest offers. So look a little bit into this, what we have to offer to your past guests and sign up for the River Banks as well. So just an additional tool um, to increase the communication to you and to your clients. New in 2018 on six ships was our Oyster List, our wellness program, with our onboard wellness host, leading group exercise classes, gentle morning stretches, circuit strength training. Um, so we roll this out now on all our ships except of Africa in 2019. And you will be surprised how many people are coming in the morning to these wellness classes before they go to breakfast and start uh, this beautiful show excursions. 
So now, our travel agent portal, um, those are some of the most valuable tools we can give you because we constantly update this portal. If you haven't signed in, please do so. It features our travel agent university. It has our online booking engine so that even on Sunday when our office is closed, you can go in, maybe put an option down for your clients in case you speak to them on your Sunday and maybe there is just one or two cabins left. So secure your option online, talk to our reservations team on the following Monday to really finish the booking in case you don't want to do it by yourself in our online booking engine. We feature our latest promotions uh, in our travel agent portal, our hot date list, webinar trainings, our FEM opportunities, you can sign up to um, get our co-branded website, which definitely increases your chances to sell uh, your clients on an Ama Waterways River Cruise. And we also have our image library. Uh, in case you want to build groups, let us know. We will create customized flyers for you. We will print up to 100 colored flyers for you, but we will also send you the PDF so that you can email the flyer to all your clients and start with the group uh, immediately. Uh, we have a ded dedicated sales team across North America for you. They are in pretty much every area. So uh, contact them. Uh, their phone numbers, their email addresses are also in our travel agent portal. If they haven't reached out to you, maybe we, we don't have you in your in our database yet. So now, of course, I'm very happy that you signed up for our webinar. So now we can actually add you to our database. They can reach out to you or you reach out to them. But definitely stay in touch. They help you if you want to do a special cruise night, if you want them to come to your agency, maybe to your church, to your community, to your club, for a presentation, um, just anything what you need, they are there for you. Now, in case you are signed up for a river cruise on a different river cruise line, and you see one of our ships docked in town next to the ship you are on, please always come on board, show your business card, and our onboard crew, hotel manager, cruise manager, um, we'll show you around. We will give you a site inspection, invite you for a cocktail, if you have time, even for a meal on board. But once you have done your site inspection on our ship, they will give you a certificate. And for your first booking, you will also receive a $50 bonus commission with your certificate. So take advantage of this. Um, but it's also not too late to sign up for our 2018 hosted seminars on the river. They are all escorted by one of our business development managers. And the rates start from 690 US dollar or 1075 Canadian dollar in a category E stateroom. And then we offer you 50% discount on the brochure upgrade for stateroom upgrades. So again, everything is listed on our travel agent portal. Um, I'm also hosting a founder's cruise on the Danube from Nuremberg to Vienna on board the Amazonata. Embarkation is on November 18 in Nuremberg and disembarkation on November 25 in Vienna. Now this cruise is going over Thanksgiving. However, I hope you will join me anyway, because I want you to know how beautifully we will celebrate Thanksgiving on board with a special Thanksgiving meal prepared just for you, with the traditions that we will uh, have on board. The best is you do not have to prepare anything at home. Everything is stress-free. You are the guest, you are the client, we will pamper you. And maybe you bring your own family on board. Remember, with 10 people, the tent is free. Or if you um, maybe just come with two or three, um, just bring them along. 
if you book up to 10 staterooms or a minimum, I'm sorry, a minimum of 10 staterooms within two years after you took your cruise, we will pay you back the FAM rate. And um, then, of course, once you bring all the clients, you were pretty much free of charge on this cruise. We will definitely do some exciting seminars on board. We will go to wonderful wineries along the way. Uh, we will have some special performances to come on board. We will uh, also visit some castles and have a traditional Austrian count coming on board together with his winemaker in Grein, uh, where we have a very special uh, hosted uh, wine um, dinner. So, and now I'm at the end of uh, this presentation. I hope you uh, ex really enjoyed exploring the Ama Magna uh, together with me. If you now have any questions, I will be here to answer as much as I can in the remaining time. So thank you so much for all your support. And Danielle, I'm opening this up for all the questions. And if there are more, we will just email to the agent of the answer and we'll follow up, of course, with a thank you email. And hopefully, you know, we'll do many, many more river courses together with you our team, our Ama Waterways family wants to thank you for your support and here is to a fantastic 2018 and many more years to come together. So now let's start with the first session. Thank you so much, Christine. Okay, the first question uh, is from Carol Milton and she is wanting to know, she is new to river cruising. Are all excursions excluded in the cruise there or are they an added expense? No, with us, with Amar Waterways, we include all the shore excursions in our cruise fare. And this is not just one shore excursion. Those are several excursions. And now you or your guests, you have to choose which excursion is really the best for your own interest. The only um, excursion that is not included is our evening concert in Vienna. Yeah, so and why do we not include this? Because that one evening when we are in Vienna, some of our guests just want to explore Vienna on their own. They want to go out, they want to explore the traditional restaurants and places, and maybe they are just not interested in classical music. And then they feel they are paying for something they are not using. But otherwise, all the shore excursions are included. Awesome, thank you. So the next question is from Belinda Cass um, Atari, and she is wanting to know, is the Ama Magna handicap accessible? Yes, so um, we have one cabin on many of our ships that is handicap accessible. However, I have to say, the client at least has to be able to get up from the wheelchair and has to have some mobility um, because the hardest part is not really the ship. We do have also a folding wheelchair on board the ship and the client can use this folding wheelchair or even a scooter on the ship. Now the client can also use this outside of the ship. However, in Europe there is a lot of cobblestone. And then it's extremely hard to push a wheelchair or to move with a scooter. Uh, it's also very, very difficult to get the scooter or wheelchair on the gangway from the outside area to the ship. Um, because sometimes, like in Budapest, where the ship is docked, there are also a lot of stairs. So the question is then, who is? carrying the wheelchair up all the stairs or down. So those are all the challenges. Or sometimes when we are docked next to a ship that does not have an elevator, all our ships have elevators, but there are older ships from different river cruise companies that don't have elevators. And then we might have to go through the ship, but from the outside over the Sunday going down, 
then um, a person that is not able to do it and is really tied up to the wheelchair is not able to do it. So um, that's why it's always very, very important to qualify the person. Again, if the person can get up and move a little bit around, then it's okay. But if the person is completely tied up to a wheelchair, then I would not necessarily recommend a rubber cruise. I hope this answers the question. Perfect. Thank you so much. Okay, so this next question is, what is the dress code on the AMA Magna and other um, water, AMA waterway ships? Yeah, so river cruising has become more and more casual. That means we still encourage in the evening a sports jacket in the dining room. Um, during captain's gala night, I would also encourage a tie for the gentlemen and a nice cocktail dress for the ladies. However, you don't need a ball gown. You do not need a tuxedo, yeah? And uh, so most important is that you bring good walking shoes, uh, that you bring a sweater because it can be windy on the sun deck, um, that you dress in layers. So uh, that is very important. Otherwise, normal pants, trousers, a dress for the ladies, uh, again, something against wind protection will be great. We do have umbrellas on board, so you do not have to bring them necessarily. If you want to work out, uh, bring your yoga clothes or your workout clothes, uh, but we also have some uh, supply in our gift shops in case you forget it. Uh, so again, have something nice for the evenings. The days are pretty casual. Jeans are fine, but not necessarily in the evening. You can have them during lunch or breakfast, the same as the, cho as the shorts. Um, but in the evening, I would encourage uh, a little bit more um, some nicer clothes, but not necessarily in a formal way. Okay? Great. Thank you. Okay, so this next question is, how are we able to get marketing materials to share with our clients? And can travel agents sign up for the past guest magazine? Yes. Um, yes, absolutely. Uh, number one is you can sign up. So the best is to communicate this with your business development manager. Um, because this way you will get access to information that past guests will receive that you wouldn't have if you wouldn't have any past guests in your portfolio. Yeah. So always discuss this with your business development manager. Hopefully you have been on board yourself uh, so that you are also on our past guest list. This would be nice. Otherwise, sign up again for the travel agent portal. Um, and then, of course, you can send us your requests for flyers, for additional marketing material, for um, additional images. If we can help you building a group, so you can either contact your business development manager or you contact us directly at AMA Waterways. Um, there are many different ways to go. Uh, you can, well, let's say, um, we will send you a thank you email after this presentation. You can reply to our thank you email with all the additional questions that you have. Or in any case, my email, my personal email is Christine, that's K R I. S T I N at amawaterways.com or just go into our website and there you will get all the additional information. So it's pretty easy. Again, you are our extended sales force, our extended marketing arm. You are our partners. We work with travel agents only. We want to team up with you and you come with new ideas and we want to brainstorm with you about your new ideas. So let's build more and more business together. Great. Thank you so much. And it looks like that brings us to the end of our presentation. Thank you so much, Christine, for your time and presenting to our members today. I know um, they all enjoyed hearing from you. Thank you very much, Danielle. We appreciate CLIA. We appreciate the membership. 
And of course, I look forward to seeing you at any of the next CLIA events, but latest at the next CRU 360. Uh, or maybe if some of you come to join the ASTA or the NACTA conference, we will be there. Uh, or, you know, any of the local events. So thank you for all your support. And here's to a great season. And until next time and soon again. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. <laughs> thank you so much, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.